Hello everyone. So today in this video we are going to see various methods in strings. I am Professor Dattadre Gandmal, Assistant Professor at Valchand Institute of Technology, Solapur. So what we are going to learn in this video? At the end of the session, student will be able to define and use various methods in class string. So we are going to see uh, look into all various methods in strings, different types of methods, how they are used and uh, when to use them. So we will see to it. First of all, we need to understand the structure of a string, how, uh, how a method is defined inside strings. So this is how we define any kind of methods in Java. It should have a return type, it should have a method name, and uh, it should have certain parameters as an input. Okay, so here return type can be an integer, return type can be a string, return type can be any kind of data type. And a method name should be proper, it should be in a camel case. Here if you see the method m is small, n is capital. So it is following a certain kind of camel case over here. Okay, so next word immediately coming after name should also be start with, we will start with the capital case. So that, that is a naming convention which is followed in Java for methods. After that, input parameters can be any number of input parameters. It can be zero, it can be one or it can be more. So this is how the signature of a method should be there in Java. So these are very variety of methods which are there in strings. So string class, as we have seen in the previous video that string is a class. So class is nothing but it is having various methods inside it. So what are the different methods which are present in string? These are some of the methods which are present in string. These are not all, these are some of the methods. So we'll see one by one. So here first one is char at. If you see, see at this first method, the return type is char, method name is char at, and input parameter is integer. So what, when I call this method, it is going to return the character present at a particular index. This is what this method is signifying. Second, method int length. Here return type is int, method name is length, and input parameter is nothing over here, it is zero. So it is going to return the length of a string whenever, when I call a particular string uh, object using this particular method, it is going to return the length of a string. Similarly, String, substring, int, begin index. So here if you see substring, it is going to give me a substring from a particular string. If I give a string as an input, it is going to return a string and input parameter is, is, is int begin index. So you are going to specify the beginning index from where you want a substring to be output as. Similarly, substring, int, begin index and end index. In end index. So here you are specifying a certain substring in between a string that is you are specifying the start location as well as the end location here in the previous case you are just specifying the start location it is going to take the complete string till the end here there is no end index whereas in the second case here we have specifying the end index it can be end or it can be anything in between okay moving ahead boolean contains char sequence so if a particular string contains a character sequence it is going to return a boolean value boolean value can be either true or false similarly equals equals here input parameter is an object so string when you want to compare two strings uh, using equals method this particular method can be used it is going to return true or false if a string is equal and if it is written it is going to return false when string is not equal is empty if if you want to check whether a string is empty or not you can directly do it using a calling a method called as is empty it is going to return true and false again concat input parameter is a string and return type is a string so what concat is going to do exactly if you want to merge two strings together okay then concat string is going to take uh, string one and string two it is going to combine these two strings and give the output so that e it is going to return the string again as an output so similarly replace is there, split is there, so split what it is going to do here you are going to give some kind of regular expression as an input, we will see to it, uh, some kind of delimiter we are going to specify in the regular expression and it is going to return string array, it is going to divide the given string at a specific location as specified in the delimiter and it is going to return a string array. Now then string to lowercase string to lowercase uh, is going to convert a given string into lowercase letters and to uppercase is going to convert a given string into to uppercase. Similarly, many such methods are there in strings and uh, they can be used as and when uh, required according to the program. 
So understood, this is how the structure of uh, methods are present inside string. So string class can call all these methods using string object. Let's see a sample program. Here, um, there is a class called as test. Inside test, I am writing a string, string str equal to new string. The string is nothing but Walchand Institute of Technology Solapur. So this is a string which I am going to store inside str. So str object is going to hold the value Walchand Institute of Technology Solapur. And if suppose I want to convert this Walchand Institute of Technology to uppercase. Either I can do it uh, by writing a logic uh, for each and every character or I can directly call a method, string method and a string method is going to do that job for me. So here I'll be calling a method str dot two uppercase. We have seen this case. Two uppercase, what it is going to return? String to uppercase is going to return a string. It is going to convert to uppercase and going to return the string. So here string dot two uppercase, it is going to convert uh, Walsh Institute of Technology into capital case and going to give the output. This is what the output is going to look like. Okay. So this is how we are using methods, string methods, ready-made string method, which is a lot of helpful uh, while doing such programs. Now here you can pause the video. There is a small question for you people. What is the input parameter type for concat function? So you can uh, revise the video and, re and pause the video over here and go for the answer. So the answer for this question is string. The input parameter type for concat function is string. Now let's have some hands on sessions. So let's say uh, uh, your uh, teacher has given you a program to take two strings as input from a user and find they are equal or not. If you want to check this, you can try for a program. First of all, we'll go to command prompt. Go to command prompt and uh, take some uh, sample dot java file. Okay. Now let's say class sample and it is going to have public static void main. Okay. Then string args. Now the question is. I want to compare two strings and uh, I want to take two strings input from a user and want to tell whether it is uh, they are equal or not. For that I need a scanner class. To scanner class I need to import java dot util dot star. So I'll be using scanner that's why I'm taking this package. So scanner sc equal to new scanner system dot in this is how we define a scanner class object. Then let's say string s1. String s1 comma, uh, let's say string s1 and uh, I'll take one more string s2. We'll have this into s1 and s2. So s1 equal to, let's say I'll ask the user to enter string one. System dot out dot print ln. enter string one. So user will enter string one over here to take input s1 equal to sc dot next. Next is going to take input from a user and going to display it. Similarly, we'll copy paste these two lines. Okay, and here instead of s1, I'll have s2 and enter string two. If both string s1 and s2 are same, it should give me output that both strings are equal. Otherwise they are not equal. So to compare that we have if s1 dot equals s2. So if s1 dot equals s2, this method I'm going to use. If they are equal, it is going to give me true, otherwise false. So if this is true, I'll print here. Both are equal. Or else, We'll have an else condition. We'll copy this line. Okay, and uh, paste it over here. Both are not equal. This is an else condition. So, 
So I hope you understood the program. I am doing nothing, uh, nothing great over here. I am taking just two strings S1, S2, okay, and uh, then string enter string one, enter string two. I am taking both the strings as a input and comparing it whether they are equal or not. This is how methods of strings can be used as and when required. So I need to save this program first. I have saved it. Then come back, compile it. Sample dot Java. There is one error. File uh, parsing. So I need to, I think I need to terminate one more close brace. Okay. That is fine. So they are uh, system.out.println cannot. Uh, so there are, there is some, I need to import package lang. So it's always good to have some kind of errors when you are doing a program so that you will understand wh where you are going wrong. So initially such kind of errors is acceptable. Clear the screen. So white is showing me an error. Uh, another print ln. Okay, there is a spelling mistake. System dot out dot instead of it should be print ln same as happened over here okay now i'll compile it once again okay it has successfully compiled now java sample so enter string so enter string one i'll enter it as raj enter string two i'll enter again raj so both are equal. So it is saying me that both strings are equal. We'll try come run it once again and see if I input something else. Enter string one, I'll enter it as Raj. Enter string two, I'll enter it as Ankit. So both are not equal. This is how the methods inside strings are used. I hope you understood. Now coming back, we'll have one more program. Write a program to split the given sentence into separate words. If uh, let's say a given string is there, I want and I want to separate it into different array we'll have uh, see to it let's take a simple string s1 i don't need scanner over here because i'm not going to take any kind of input from a user string s1 let's say string s1 is having a string called as valchand institute of technology and now I want to break this particular string into different words, chunk of words. So that can be achieved using a method called a split. So how to use it? So split is going to return string array. If you revise the video and see, split is going to return the string array. So I'll take one string array, string array, let's say S. Now S can be used. So S equal to S1 dot split. So S is going to hold all the separated string so where i want to split let's say i want to uh, split this particular sentence at spaces that can be given by regular expression space just specify space inside split method split will do the job split will go do the job for me it will split up a given string valchand institute of technology into valchand institute of technology as a separate string to cross verify it we will have a for loop for uh, let's say uh, for int i equal to 0 i less than we'll have s dot length because uh, finally this length function is going to tell me how many it has divided i plus plus okay now here we'll have a display print ln and here i'll print s s of sorry s of i S of i is going to hold all the separated strings. We'll see to it. We'll execute it. So now uh, we'll compile it. Be before compiling, we'll uh, clear the screen. End of file. Again, I'm missing a uh, semi uh, closing press. We'll compile it. It's compiled. Java sample. So now Understood. The, yeah, the uh, given sentence is split into Valchand Institute of Technology. S of 0, S of 1, S of 2, and S of 3. So understood. This is how string related functions, methods can be used in Java. So these are some of the references which I have used. You can refer to them as and when required.
Thank you.